The Rakondo badge has been around since 1960. When the army would send soldiers to Nha Trang, Vietnam for Rakondo school during the war. The school was so tough that soldiers would jokingly say, you'll bet your life to get the Rakondo badge. Six decades later, the Rakondo badge lives on here at CST through the cadets that can meet the rigorously, historically tough standards in order to get that coveted Rakondo badge. Although achieving Rakondo at advanced camp this year isn't impossible, the requirements make it quite the challenge. The first and most difficult requirement for many cadets is the PT standards. You must score a 270 or above on the APFT without retest with a minimum of 90 points per event. What do you think about Rakondo? Are you still in the run for it? No. Actually, I think I should have worked harder physically. That was the one thing that actually holds me back. The PT test is the only thing I missed. Everything else, it's doable. You just have to work hard and do what you need to do to get better at oneself. The second is to score 90% or higher on the written land navigation without a retest. Also to find five out of six points on the land navigation course and you must be a first time go. You must qualify at least sharpshooter on the pop-up range, which means hitting at least 30 out of 40 uh, for the record qualifier on the first time go. For the fifth requirement, you must be a first time go on all first aid, seabird, and call for fire tasks. Then when it comes time for the six mile road march, you only have 90 minutes or less to finish with a 35 pound ruck on your back. Just trying to compete and get that recon on the extra no point. It's been a great time so far during the ruck, but it's definitely been challenging. The seventh requirement states that there has to be no founded disciplinary action or failure of any army standards. And finally, you have to receive a go for all must complete advanced camp graduation requirements. So whenever we're doing an event, there's a standard. And then there's kind of like a reach goal, which is Rondo. And it's, I guess, for the people who have prepared the best or the best at something. So, um, so it's just a, a higher standard. Tough standards. That has always been the backbone of Rakondo. For this year at CST, many cadets will try. But only a few who have what it takes to meet the standards will be able to leave CST this summer with a Rakondo badge on their chest. With Cadet Summer Training, Public Affairs, I'm Stephen Eschbach.